an integral involving Lemniskit constraint. So Lemniskit constraint is basically this bare pi function, the bare pi variable that you can see over here. And this is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the power minus x tan as x by x dx, which is equals to ln of uh, a, a bare pi square by pi. Basically, Lemniskit constraint is square by pi. Let us try to prove this result. To prove this, uh, we will first of all make a substitution that y is equals to e to the power minus x. The reason I'm doing this is also because also in tan as of x we will have e to the power x e to the minus x. So it should get simplified. Now if we do this, we know that tan as x, we know that tan as x is just e to the power minus x minus e to the power x by e to the power minus x plus e to the power x. Yes, therefore tan x x will just be y minus 1 by y by y plus 1 by y. Yes, so this is y square minus 1 by y square plus 1. This will be tan x x. Yes, and now this will just be minus ln of y. So we get integral from e to the power 0 is just 1, e to the power minus infinity is just 0, and y, we have shown that tan x is y square minus 1 by y square plus 1, and x is minus ln of y. And similarly, dx, okay, since x is now minus ln of y, dx will be minus 1 by y dy minus minus cancels out and the y in the y cancels out now this is equals to minus of the integral from 0 to 1 y square minus 1 by y square plus 1 times ln of y now next next what we will try to do is we will try to convert this into a double integral now how how can we convert this into a double integral? So for that, observe the following. So what I can basically do over here is, uh, th this result that we have over here, I can write it as integral from 0 to 1. Now this is 1 by 1 plus y square times ln of y. Now this can be written as y to the power 2x, while 2x goes from 0 to 1 and this uh, dx so just just dy now the reason i have done this is now reason i have done this is now its derivative its derivative will just be y to the power 2x dot ln of y square yes so i can write it as uh, integral from 0 to 1 and again integral from 0 to 1 of its derivative y to the power 2x times ln of y square divided by 1 plus y square ln of y dy now the good thing now the good thing is the cancel out ln of y we have 2 in front and then this cancel out so we have integral from 0 to 1 please note that we have minus n over here yes until and unless i forgot by some means uh, there should be minus n over here yes let me see let me see if that is the case or not uh, we have y square minus 1 by y square plus 1 and uh, that is y and x is minus ln of y minus 1 by y dy this goes from 1 to 0 ok yeah that, that, that is the case now over here we have integral from 0 to 1 now this 2 comes in front and ln by ln cancels out so we have 2 times y to the power 2x by 1 plus y square times dx dy yes now what we can do next is we can try to uh, make a new substitution again we have a negative sign please know that now again make a new substitution let's say uh, u, u is equals to y square yes and uh, also uh, let's convert this let's change the order of the integrals let's make it dy and then dx yeah we can also in the order because the, the limits are going in this uh, the limits are basically the same now with the substitution we have a minus integral from 0 to 1 and then again integral from 0 to 1 of 2 times 
this is u to the power x by 1 plus u now y is uh, u is just y square so y is root of u that's why 1 by 2 u to the power minus 1 by 2 du will be dx now 2 and 2 cancel out so we have negative of the integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 u to the power x minus 1 by 2 by 1 plus u du dx now, i guess you probably might know that the integral from 0 to 1 of t to the power uh, let's q minus 1 by 1 plus t you can do this integral by basically expressing it as a matrix form and then integrating uh, yeah and from that we get this to be equals to 1 by 2 diagamma of uh, q plus 1 by 2 minus diagamma of q by 2 yes we get this result by converting uh, this geometric sum in the geometric uh, series 1 by 1 plus t into sum and then again after the sum we try to integrate that and, and if, if you go on like that you will get this expression so we'll use this over here also what will we get what will we get is but first of all uh, here i have doubt with the negative sign because uh, because regarding the solution that i'm consulting here is no any such negative signs but I have been getting it, so I just want to check. Just want to check if I have made any mistakes with that sign. So y to the power minus x. Yes, and now one to zero. This is just y, and now it to the power minus x. Oh yes, there is a mistake. There is a mistake. This is not it to the power minus x minus it to the power x. It's actually wrong. This is minus it to the power minus x plus one. So this is minus y plus 1. So this y is minus 1. There should be a minus sign in front. There should be a minus sign in front. And this cancels out. Cancels out. Cancels out. Good. Now it looks good. Sorry for that error. <laughs> now it looks good. Yes. Now, now we know that uh, now its its solution will be integral from 0 to 1. Now 1 by 2. Diagram of now this is x minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus diagram of dash of x minus 1 by 2 by 2 yes and then again dx good looks good now this is just 1 by 2 comes in front integral from 0 to 1 diagram of this is 2x plus 1 by 2 minus this is 2x minus 1 by this is 4 sorry 2x plus 1 by 4 by 2x minus 1 by 4 am i correct am i correct let me check doesn't seem so doesn't seem so oh wait 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 this is actually x plus 1 by 2 minus 1 yes and here we need to have q minus 1 so x plus 1 by 2 is actually the q therefore we have plus 1 plus 1 over here yes so now this is 2x plus 3 actually. This is 2x plus 3 and this is 2x plus 1. 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 1. Okay, look, now it looks good. Now this is just 1 by 2 integral from 0 to 1. This is diagram of x by 2 plus 3 by 4 minus diagram of x by 2 plus 1 by 4. Yes dx now we know that now we know that the integral of a diagram function is just ln of gamma function so this will just be ln of gamma of sorry ln of gamma function ln of gamma of x by 2 plus 3 by 4 yes but this will also be divided by 1 by 2 yes similarly minus ln of the gamma of x by 2 plus 1 by 4 but this will also be divided by 1 by 2 yes and this goes from 0 to 1 now the 1 by 2 1 by 2 cancels out 1 by 2 cancels out with this one right over here and this one is ln of the gamma of 1 by 2 plus 3 by 4 is 5 by 4 minus ln of the gamma of 
1 multiplied by 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 again minus ln of again minus ln of 0 by 4 this is gamma of 3 by 4 and now plus ln of the gamma of 1 by 4 yes now all this will be ln of the gamma 5 by 4 gamma 1 by 4 by gamma 3 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 now if you want to do the reflection formula what you can do is ln of this is 1 by 4 times gamma 1 by 4 we also have gamma 1 by 4 we can do this a few more gamma 1 by 4s and also do the same in denominator yes and there is gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 and again gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 looks good yes now next is ln of 1 by 4 now this is fourth power of the gamma 1 by 4 divided by this is pi by sine and pi so pi by sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 square yes now ln of root 2 goes in numerator so we have root 2 goes over here so we have 8 pi square gamma to the power 4 1 by 4 by 8 pi square and now we know that the lemniscate con lemniscate constant is just fourth power of the gamma 1 by 4 by root under 8 pi sorry second power of the gamma 1 by 4 second power of the gamma 1 by 4 divided by second power of gamma 1 by 4 divided by square root of 8 pi so this is therefore this is just uh, this is okay now the square of the limit constant is just fourth power of gamma 1 by 4 by 8 pi yes here is 8 pi square so therefore this is just ln of the square of the lemon square constant divided by pi and yes this is the answer that we need yes so we have solved this question uh, its solution development involved uh, use of substitution and then using this formula involving digamma function yes uh, t to the power q minus 1 by 1 plus t dt is just 1 by 2 diagram of q plus 1 by 2 minus q by 2 diagram of q by 2 and then after that introducing double integral and using diagram function in its integral so that was it that was how we solved this problem hope you enjoyed the solution thanks for watching and look forward to seeing the upcoming videos too